Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Dome Keeper. Here's the challenge I want to do. I want to do defective weapon on challenge mode. It's not that much harder from the regular mode, but we learned a lot doing this run last time. Uh, I don't know if we were actually laser dome repellent. This doesn't seem right. This was our last mission, I think. Uh, but we want artillery dome because it is very good at uh, surviving. It has more health. We want drone yard because we need anything that does automatic damage. This does automatic damage. Uh, dome armor is really nice for keeping you alive because it reduces the damage that you take. Uh, the other options are spire, stun laser, and I, I actually think I'm leaning towards spire, right? Like, it'll knock out projectiles before they hit us and we can have it even do damage, and then the auto cannon can do damage, and then the drones can do damage. Like, that, that seems a appropriate, right? So we could try that instead of dome armor. Dome armor is good, though, just to reduce the damage you take. Lenor asks, hey, Abe, did you try out dead shot yet? Dead shot? That one doesn't ring a bell, necessarily. Or, or is that the name of uh, Valve's new shooter? What was it called? Dead Bolt? <laughs> I've heard that brouhaha. I think we need auto cannon. We need something that does damage. Can we take auto cannon and stun laser? Hold up. You can? Don't they take up the same slot on the dome? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can, can we can we do both? We should. Stun laser is so good at taking out Among Us and stunning. Let's see if we can roll auto cannon stun laser. Drone yard, stunning big enemies, the drones can take them out. Let's see if it, if it works, because normally you can't take them both. Try it up top, it's a good point. Nor because they take up the same slot on the dome. I guess uh, gadgets don't work up here, unfortunately. Well, let's try it. Who are we? We're the engineer? This is fine. We have drone yard. We don't need to worry about carrying the resources up. For science? Apparently not. I, I don't think it would work up there. I think it'll work down here, though. Poor guy had a heart attack. Okay, I see the stun laser. Uh... Don't know if there's an actual auto, maybe that's the auto cannon, I don't know. One, two, three, four. The other thing about this challenge, by the way, is that uh, they fixed the bug with it where you could upgrade your dome. Uh, apparently that was not intended. I remember the one time that I did this challenge it still showed all of the artillery upgrades. That's not a thing anymore. They fixed that bug. Fantastic. Good news for us, right? Uh, I would love to find one more iron and one cobalt. That way we can get the drones going. And if we can get the drone yard up and operational, that's gonna help us survive bigly. We don't need the water, but our uh, drone friend can pick them up. Check the upgrades. You see, I don't know if the upgrades will show... I, I, I think it might show auto cannon and stun laser, but it might not work on the dome, you know? Because I only see one thing, but maybe there's actually two pieces there. Because there's an auto cannon, there's a stun laser, but perhaps in the code, only one thing can actually appear on the screen. I don't know. More water, huh? So we're gonna find out. You can get that one. Hopefully it works. Let's see. Oh, I have to be here for it. I have to be here for it. I think they're both working though. Yeah, okay. 
I don't have the upgrades that make them automatic. Now, I'm I'm curious. There's another another thing I'm curious about here, which is will they work well in conjunction? Or will they go after the same targets repeatedly? Like will will the stun laser try to stun big enemies and the autocannon just try to attack whatever's closest? I don't know. I don't know how they work. We'll find out. This is this is what we're here for. And again, I have to go up. This is one of the reasons I wanted drone armor, by the way, is that I have to go up right now and activate the auto cannon, but we can upgrade it to be automatic. I think it just requires water. I think we're, we're gonna need more water, but if we can get those upgrades fast, then we'll never have to worry about getting back up to the base ever again. Still knocking something to death is still good. I, I would prefer it if they targeted different things. This was, there was only two enemies in the wave. It's hard to tell how it's gonna work in the long run. So automatic and automatic. It's only four water and three iron away. That's not bad at all. We also want battle grid. I want uh, transport drones to get upgraded as well. I think I'm actually gonna start there. My thinking is if I have to come back to the surface, I might as well just come back to the surface and get this stuff done, right? And then we'll work on uh, autonomy. We'll, we'll work on it later. I still have to come up to activate both pieces of equipment. Technically, I guess we don't have to return to the surface because we have the battle drones. They will defeat the enemies. There's enough of them. They're strong enough, but I, I think it's better if we're there anyways. I can't control anything, but... That's why I want the stun laser. It's really good against the Omogas. Uh, I need mining power. To try to mine through this ground here. And if we can find enough iron and water, we can upgrade everything to be automatic, and then we'll never have to come back to the surface. We can just mine to our heart's content. Well, we have to return to the surface, I guess, to upgrade, but not if we get the battle computer, which I don't want. Pea shooter is funny, like plop plop JK47 <laughs> says disposable. Yeah, 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 it is kind of like that, huh? We'll get out of here in time. So a after this wave, we're automatic. We have enough resources now. Suppose we could upgrade our own speed, but... If it isn't, there should be an achievement, says the Nora, for not visiting the dome past, like, wave five. You have to for upgrading, but I think it would be a good achievement, a cool achievement that's like, after wave 10, survive a wave without having returned to your dome. Because then it, it you can still go to your dome and upgrade it. It's just like a one wave achievement and that would be acceptable to me. What am I here for, by the way? I guess nothing, just I'm gonna stand here for a minute and just shoot things with my automatic stuff. They are targeting different things. The auto cannon was like, nah, I'm not dealing with these enemies, and so it left. Thank you guys for continuing to deposit, by the way, because I think... Autonomy and... Oh, we need one more water! And then we're fully autonomous. I think there's water down... Yeah, okay, well...
Let's find some resources, carrying, carry them up, and then we'll get full autonomy. There you go, right there, we're done. I think that's it. I can even get a speed upgrade now, too. Sweet! Now we don't have to come back to the surface. We have both of our weapons operational. Hell yeah! Now the real challenge, of course, is can we survive? You know, is this enough firepower? Should we have actually, you know... I'm gonna hold this in case we can find a supplement. Should we have actually maybe saved uh, money for other upgrades? Should we have upgraded the drones? Will, will, we be, will we be able to upgrade the drones fast enough to prevent death? Dome's getting hit a little bit. It'll be fine. we go. Well, it's not a supplement. I'm going to drop this water. Come with me. Kanye says, I did this with auto cannon dome armor and I found a spire on the map. Yeah, when I, uh, I did it, it was, we want pro by the way, I think. I think I also did auto cannon dome armor the first time around. Blast mining's good, we just had it. We haven't had probe in a while. Underground station, I don't need. So we'll take the probe and I think it's F to probe. <laughs> it's a very small range probe right now, but we'll we'll crank on that. It does require us to actually go back up to the base, though, to recharge it, doesn't it? Hmm. In hindsight, we might not use oh. this that much. <laughs> Who knows, though? Apple Jumper, welcome. Underground station for truly staying in the mines forever. We can, but I guess I'm just thinking it's not that necessary. Be the, the whole point of Underground Station is that you can fight from the mines but we don't care about fighting from the mines because we'll, we're never gonna go back up to fight, so. I'm gonna upgrade my mining power. Yep, this sound is always unexpected. <laughs> um. All right, good job, everybody. Yes! That's why I like the drones, man. They even shoot down projectiles when they can. That's so good. They're very good drone boys. Too, too hard material right now. And I need to find some water. There we go. Pop this thing open. What do we what do we have? Uh as far as supplements go. I guess we can upgrade the auto cannon, we could upgrade the stun laser, we can upgrade the drones? Actually, there's no uh no supplements for your gadgets, right? I don't think so. Well, let's see what we get regardless. Dome hull hardening. Area stun. Creates a stun blast around the target monster that stuns all nearby monsters. The area grows and deals with more damage the more monsters there are in it. Fast firing autocannon. Simple and effective. I want them both. We can probably get them both over the course of this mission, but area stun's pretty nice.
Can we look at how that works? Area growth per monster, 6, stun efficiency, 40%. Area damage per monster, 3. Fire time every 3 seconds. Stun area, 75. Stun strength, 1.8. No, I mean... Ooh. I'll take it. Fast firing seems good maybe with the shotgun cannon. Oh yeah, I didn't even... haven't even thought about that. They were gonna have multiple uh, choices for those upgrades. I guess I'm not that worried about those upgrades right now, am I? Should be thinking about that. Should be thinking ahead a little bit, but... I guess I'm just thinking that for the near future, there's a lot of very important upgrades that we're gonna need before that. even for me, but I think I'm going to get the double drones on the cheap. And... Buff the range. really don't want to reveal rock. Like, who cares? Permanent reveal, who cares? Marker memory. I mean, I'm, I don't need marker memory because I'm going to be down there mining, so yeah, I guess we'll just hold off on that for a minute. I should have upgraded the stun laser. Head over here real quick. Just a second. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Excellent. Man, that's a lot of stuff. Whew. We're gonna... We're gonna need some serious drone upgrades. These things will not be able to handle all of the resources we're gonna be mining. If we never have to return to the surface, we're gonna need so many drones to help us carry stuff. Still have to mine this, by the way, because we do wanna make sure that there's no gadgets. Take the water. That's actually a little bit more important for upgrading the drones. And we'll upgrade the stun laser and the auto cannon too. Actually, we should probably upgrade the the drone army. That's probably a little bit more important here. They're doing a lot of the damage. Um, I think we do still want quick drones. How much, wait, how much damage do they do? Long drones are better in terms of damage. The, here's the problem with long drones, right? It takes... One hundred seconds to put all of the drones out there, right? By the time all of the drones get out there, if the wave's not over in a hundred seconds, you're dead. <laughs> I really do feel like the quick drones are better because it takes 15 seconds for them to deploy, if anything survives, you've got 
a stun laser and an auto cannon that are gonna be upgraded. You want the drones to get out quickly because they're your only defense. Now it might be different in this challenge, absolutely, with the more numerous enemies that are harder. So perhaps we should think about this a little bit more. I've had long drones depleted, says eyeshadows. On this challenge? I, I wanna, I'm curious what your condition was, what your situation was that you've de depleted long drones. Long, long drones! I can't believe there's nothing around here. exhausting fight. Not in this challenge, but still. I just, I just don't like how long it takes them to come out. I feel like the quick drones would be faster. They do deplete, and they don't recover after depleting, but... I don't want them to take a million years to be deployed. I want them to deploy instantly. I, I wish I wish I could upgrade both. Like, I wish I could take one level of each. That would be perfect. But no, they are mutually exclusive upgrades. For good reason, I think. Although, what if we go for... I, I think here's what we're going to do. I think what we should do is maybe go quick drones and then overcharge them because they you get more of them that last for longer and do more damage so that's probably the ideal it's a lot of water but use the the uh aoe of the hammer says eyeshadows i want to i want to avoid using the uh shockwave hammer because it's not automatic you have to be there for it right i want f i want full automation Get my jetpack speed, more dome help. Just general upgrades. As we continue to mine. Overcharge won't be automatic either unless you get the supplement for the condenser, says Connie. That's true. And I've never had that supplement for the condenser. I know it exists. Whew. Oh my god. We hit the jackpot. The mother load. What was that? <laughs> I think one of my drones missed. Almost killed me. It's a good point, though. Overcharge is manual. I don't know what's happening up there. I'm just hearing, like, thunder. We're not taking damage. <laughs> it's so scary, man. When you don't know what's happening up there. You just have to hope. You have to hope everything can take care of it. Did you build your defenses correctly? Maybe we should try to find a condenser then. That would be that would be ideal, wouldn't it? Let's go get some upgrades. Even if it's just for us. Hey kitty. Like I could I could afford one or the other. So we go from six to 15 or 6 to 20 
with quad ammo. I wish I knew how much damage they did. Dude, I'm following my heart on this one. I think quick drones are totally fine. You wanna know why? We're not gonna spend 100 years in this mission. We're gonna be out pretty quickly. If we're mining so much, we're gonna find the, uh, the exit. So I think we'll be fine. If we get get an, a permanent overcharge, it'll be a good addition. If not, so be it. Still need to find a lot more water though. Oh, hell yeah. You know what? I can carry some of this for the drones, although I have a feeling they're almost done with that patch on the left I gave them. That's another reason I think I want quick drones. Like, those, uh, those dive bombers, if you don't kill them quickly, they're gonna hit your base and do a lot of damage. Quick drones getting out there, being deployed, they have a better chance of having the coverage that you need. Gotcha. Yeah. And the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, you gotta take quick drones for this, I think. I would still like some water. You know what? Actually, before we go get more water, Drones aren't doing anything, which means I'm not doing anything, which means I need a mining speed upgrade. And okay. And you know what? We can get a jetpack upgrade as well. And then for two and two, I think I can get one more probe. I would have preferred the radar because then with the radar, we could just stay down in the mines forever, but. Probe is still okay for the uh, a similar purpose. We can just stay down and mine. I hate that there is a bedrock right there, but. Mine here. Told you. Probe is radar at home. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not as good though. I forget which run it was. <clears throat> Were you not taking the supplement? Where was the supplement? I've already forgotten about it. Was it on the far left, Pavel Jumper? Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Hold on. I think it was down here somewhere, right? <laughs> like I had to, f I had to find water. Was that correct? No, you son of a! Oh my god! It was at the bottom. It was at the. You're right. For some reason, I thought I already had it. You're right, I was waiting for water. Is there still water over here? There is, okay, give me the water. <laughs> I can't believe, I mean, it is just right down here. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll take this. <laughs> what challenge did you want Chris to do? I think he's gonna have a fun time with dense iron because it's so hard. But honestly, you know, he'll get to it one of these days. He doesn't need to get to it immediately. One-way teleporter, not important. Fast firing cannon, absolutely. 
What's the stats behind that? Rate of fire 180%. Just 80% 80, 80 bonus? It's pretty good. He, he already knows I want him to do dense iron, though. He already knows. I prefer probes since I don't want to decrypt the direction the radar is telling you, says Connie. That's fair, I suppose. That's very fair. You just want it to be to be done. Can't really get anything else, can we? I don't really need the wave warner. <laughs> we'll just head back down. Isn't it solved by worms? So, Renal, I, I was doing the dense iron challenge with worms and and drones. It took me like five attempts to get a workable run. Something about that challenge is insanely difficult because the waves are like 30 weight and 300% power. And the dense iron is slow if you're using worm, so it's not like you're gonna get the iron that you need as fast as you wanna get it. Something about that challenge is just hard. I think I also got a little bit unlucky though because I think I had a layout that gave me dead ends, like a lot of dead ends. Like, I couldn't expand left at all because there was bedrock there, completely covering the direction. Densire needs a good seed, says Connie. I, yeah, I think you, do, you need to not get seed screwed, for sure. I can't help but feel like I got a little bit of seed screwed on that one. On regular mode, th did I do it on regular? If not, I should have done that one first, but like on regular mode, I don't think it's gonna be that bad because, you know, the waves are normal, but on uh, on the challenge mode, it is, It's I think it's the hardest one on challenge mode. It's got the highest weight and the highest uh, s strength multiplier. It's not a mat. It wasn't a matter of getting resources. It was a matter. It was a matter of surviving the waves. Underground station missile silo iron worms. Manual don't need it. Don't need it. Although it would be fun to stay down forever, but we can return up every once in a while. This is a reroll. Last mining lift teleporter. <sighs> I don't need a teleporter. I'm gonna reroll. I'm gonna use one water. Drilling rig, spire, missile launcher. Spire. I don't know why I'm doing this with the mouse. More automation. Now, is it automatic? Now it is. Quark, thank you for the resubscription. Hello, welcome. Stained fire, burst fire. Probably sustained fire. Do like it. Now we have like the ultimate build here. We can make this thing break projectiles and create damaging fields too, I think. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, let's go, I guess over here. Ooh, nice spot for resources. Of course, it means I do have to return back to the base right now, but oh well. What did you just find? you find? Where? Found like a cluster of iron somewhere. Down here? 
Let's just be straight down. Oh, there it is. Boo, 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 boo. What this is not, unfortunately, is water, which is what I really need. That could be water, I guess. Come on, drones, be faster. I need to get water to upgrade the drone so that they get me the iron faster, but I also need water. To upgrade everything else. Underground station, blast mining, drill burt. Dude, I'm re-rolling. If it's not automatic or it's not something for me, I don't want it. There's condenser! Okay, now we just need to get the supplement that makes this thing automatic. And then we're 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 balling. They don't grab. Drones don't grab from the condenser, right? I don't think they do, which is unfortunate. Can we get an upgrade? I can. Well, okay, it's probably not over there. It being more stuff to mine. Oh my god. Well, I don't know where you are. <laughs> it's one problem with a big probe, which is why I do like the... Uh, Get hit there. No, they're they're stopping it. One reason I do like the uh, prospecting meter is because it'll it'll tell you the direction to mine without having to actually see it. As soon as our drones bring back 22 iron, we can get a mining speed upgrade. Help me that much, but I'm still gonna spend two to get this. You have so much cobalt, says Quirk. I know. <laughs> Honestly, it's a good thing because we're running automatic, so you know it's good to have some extra power in our in our pocket for when we need it. That's a, a bedrock wall right there. Hello. I'm taking this. There's actually a lot of water on the map. I just need the drones to get it. They're not going to have enough for a upgrade, though, unfortunately. I'm willing to bet there's a gadget there or something. We need to go, like, top down and make sure we're actually picking everything up. I guess we can make it detect chambers. And it's pretty cheap. You know what? I'm gonna upgrade that probe. Max it out. Ugh. 
then we'll know for sure. Oh, I'm hearing some things happening up there. We found a tree. Um, and more resources. Hold on, uh, F. I gotta remember the button. I like this. We can have the tree produce iron and then whatever that resource is right there. Hopefully it's water. Boodoo. Boodoo. It's water. All we gotta do is just wait for the roots to reach the wall. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what that was. It was something all right. Perfect. I don't think there's anything else in this direction. There's nothing else in that direction either. It would be cool if you could tell the drones to prioritize certain types of resources, says Corp. I guess, yeah, just be like, yo, pull up all of the water available first. I suppose it doesn't even have to be something the player could control. It could just be like an automatic thing, like, hey, I have zero water. Maybe try to pick up like five <laughs> and then focus on the iron when we have like 30 iron. You know, I could I could see that. You have seven water. Now. Auto collection, make it all automatic. Improved cooling, that needs to happen. We also need to make the auto cannon better. I'm gonna go for drone speed, and then we'll make the auto cannon better, and then we'll make the laser better. Yeah, seems good for now. Just, you know, continue with slow upgrades. text chambers, right? I guess there's no chambers around? What about down here? I'm starting to run up against the limit of these drones, though. I'm getting too many resources. They can't carry it all. Oh, my lord. Yeah, next upgrade has to be mining. In fact, next two upgrades are probably mining. Well, no, we probably want to get some more defenses. Spire Tower could use it. We have 20 Cobalt. On wave 15, that means we've done Cobalt Contribution again. <laughs> I guess this build works on Cobalt Contribution. Also, oh look, more Cobalt. I wish I knew what those sounds were. <laughs> Jesus. I don't need to be here anymore. Rainbow Zombie Man, welcome. Thank you for the resub. How you doing? Thoughts on game, more specifically the miner versus the orb guy. Um, the assessor is a very interesting character that has some like cool play styles and advantages. I like the engineer though, just for the simplicity of it. I here, Here's what I think, okay? I think on a large world, the assessor is really good and really fun because the orb mining is more interesting and you can throw bundle, you can throw bundles of resources pretty much an unlimited distance. I think that would be a lot of fun. 
I guess you're not allowed to have both laser and cannon on cobalt, says Eye Shadows. That's true. You wouldn't be able to have both support weapons. Also, as for the game itself, Rainbow Zombie Man, I'm loving Cobalt Core. It's such a good warm-up game for me, I think. It's a good time. It is a very good time. Well, I guess we're gonna mine down here. Co Did I say Cobalt Core again? Damn it. Also a good game. <laughs> Different game, good game. Well, I found some stuff. Question mark, says Seagus Jr. Cobalt Core, it is a, um, if you haven't seen it or heard of it, I, I played a bunch of it up on YouTube. I didn't do it on Twitch, just for YouTube. Um, but, it's, uh, it's a deck builder with space themes. Uh, it's kind of like a FTL, Slay the Spire is, well, it's not even like an FTL. FT People keep saying things like, oh, it's like FTL, when really all they mean is there's nodes, but Slay the Spire also has like a map and nodes and, you know, choices of directions to go in, which is all I'm talking about there. But it's a deck builder where you also are piloting a ship and your cards can move your ship like left or right. And so you can dodge enemy shots that way. It's like a weird real-time deck. It's not real-time at all. It's, it's fun. It's it's a good game. It's fun. You should check it out if you haven't. There's also uh, Core Keeper, which I don't I don't know anything about Core Keeper, like, at all. I haven't seen that game, so... Don't ask me about that one. What is happening up here? <laughs> Unfortunately, that pyramid, it eats up shots and it doesn't do anything. I wish my things would stop trying to attack it. This is like the one situation where longer lasting drones matter, but we can also just upgrade the auto cannon. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade the auto cannon. Yeah, they're targeting the pyramid, which I don't know exactly how it works, but it seems like it doesn't really take damage. Can upgrade the stun laser. I wanted the damage just so that if we could kill that pyramid, it would actually die. Ooh, I need water. Because we found a supplement! I guess, yeah, like, stun strength would be a nice one to get, too. Oh, we found the bottom. Just need to find more water. I think we'll find water here. Stun, la Stun laser makes pyramid guy functionally invincible for while says Connie. Yeah, like there's some weird behaviors with that guy. Which definitely make him hard to deal with for some reason. Yes, fast drones. Oh, God, I gotta go around, I guess. 
And we have no water, so we can't reroll this, but I would love to get, you know what? Maybe we'll uh, hold off on this thing then. Just, like, put it here for a second. Try to mine out some more water and then we can uh, pick up a new supplement. What was I gonna go for as far as supplements go? I can't remember. I wanted, right, I wanted, I wanted the condenser upgrade. That's what I wanted. Stuff is like blooping out there. Are my drones AFK right now? I feel like they're struggling for things to do. I've upgraded them too much. What? <laughs> the wave finished and moss grew in the mines. <laughs> I love them taking the bottom square out of each stack. We should probably just mine out the relic and get the heck out of here at this point. Here, I'll take one. How the heck do I get out of my own mine? We've reached that stage of this map. Get out of here. What will the supplement give us today? Combat repair auto overcharge. Keep your primary gadget permanently overcharged without using up water. Yes. And then. So it will, it'll delay the production of water, but now we have infinite overcharge, so. There we go. Now we're now we're gonna have forty percent better drones that are seventy, and we have seventy percent more drones. I assume I don't have to manually do it. I want. I just want to be able to see this. Man, why is my drone dome still cracked? Whatever. I, I think we're good. I hope it's already active? But the drone yard, it doesn't look like it's, you know, glowing at all. So I don't, I don't know. I, I hope it's working though. Well, let's just trace the edge of the map. To see if there's any easily accessible resources. Did it have particles around it? It kind of just looked normal to me. But... Yeah, that's an edge. Out of this gray zone, please. Water! I found water! Oh, it's one of the buttons. I do need to upgrade my mining speed before we do this because it is going to otherwise take so long to mine through any of this. On the bright side, my drones have plenty of work in front of them now. We've we've struck gold. The mines are gonna stay open. down here too. 
I love the drones. <laughs> They're just so good. Jesus, we got more. It's like there's a lot of stuff to mine in this game or something. It's still going. By the time I get back up to the base, there's going to be like 200 iron on the ground. The drones will have started a union because they're being overworked. <laughs> it's just so much. I gotta go back up. I'm out of, uh... Unfortunately, I don't think this actually buffs your mining speed. I'm out of, uh... You know, we'll just use the speed then. I, I need to, I need to upgrade. It's too slow. I'm out of mining charges. I used them all. Uh-oh. They know the more optimal route up. I gotta, I gotta look at this. What is doing so much damage to my base right now? Holy crap! Hi guys. Um, let's upgrade some things. Stun strength seems appropriate right now. Rate of fire also seems pretty good. I can definitely tell now that we are getting that overcharge because there are so many drones out there. No, they can't shoot anything on the ground, but at least we do have the autocannon. I, you know, I see a few tiny sparkles over here, so I think it's working. Whatever, we have 19 cobalt. We'll be fine. <laughs> Here's something I wish. I wish that if you had enough upgrade power, you could just mine through bedrock without needing to get that special upgrade for it. It's like, if I'm gonna get like 2,000 mining power, might as well, right? How you doing? Thank you. You're doing a great job. Oh my god, there's another layer under this, huh? It's all made up, but the numbers don't matter, says <laughs> Connie. 2,000, 2 million, bedrock's bedrock after all. This is why I like the, the automatic run, because you can just chill. Let the game kind of play itself. You can handle the mining if that's what you want. That's bedrock there on the side. Bedrock under us. This is the bottom. Unless no. That's bedrock there. Come on, drones, you're slowing down. There's too much iron here that's not being picked up. 
think I'm gonna go get another... Ooh, there's like crackling in the audio. It's probably not intentional. I think I'm gonna get another uh, mining speed upgrade. And upgrade something else with this water. Ah, you! Yeah. You're a bit of a problem. Luckily, we are dealing with you. Oh, I need two more iron. Okay, well. One. I'll wait. Oh wait, my time is worthless. You know what I like about this game? You can play it with one hand. That's not what I mean, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I can just like, I have an arm like over my, uh, my chair right now, just behind me like, ah, oh, yeah, just relaxing, doing some mining. Worth less or worthless? Why not both? Well, I mean, if there's stuff to mine, I'll mine it. Could you lose this game? Like, okay, here, let me rephrase. If you only upgraded, like, your own mining speed, and you just wanted to try to, like, mine forever, could you eventually just lose it because... You know, you didn't save any for your drones and your base? Almost certainly. Oh my god, there's so much. This is where a teleporter would also be nice. Just plop it down here and just let it suck up all the resources, huh? You know, uh, the prospecting meter, it can't show you gadgets without the supplement. So that's something in favor of the probe. You know, when you're at this point in the game, it is nice to just be able to know where those switches are. It's like, I can just come up here and after I've mined this out, we can see if there's any switches nearby. I think we're, I think we're out after this, after this wave right here. And this was not bad at all. Not bad at all. We got everything we wanted. We got the upgrade that enabled us to automatically overcharge our drones, which is something I was super interested in picking up. Yeah, we're, we're done, we're out. I don't know why the audio crackles. It doesn't seem intentional. Now here's the question, can we live? We have... 21 cobalt, 5 water. Do those monster train morsels rummaging around in your iron do something, or are they just flavor? I think they're just flavor. I, I kind of want to wait and then get the final upgrades for, like, the spire and the machine gun. You know, I want to see if we can survive. I don't know, I might, I might do like another loop and see if I can scan some more resources real quick. I think we've almost mined out the entire map though. found nothing. And this is just the edge of the map right here. I, I think we found everything. If so, that's like record time. <laughs> but 
guess we'll just uh and to see what we can get. I, again, I was kind of hoping to maybe fully upgrade the spire or something. How, how did we how did we run out of materials to mine? Normally you have enough to upgrade everything on the map, right? Maybe I'm just waiting for the drones to pick it all up because it's all just at the very deepest sections of this uh, this place. Maybe it's just not as large of a map as I thought it was going to be. Disposable, I do like also watching the uh, the spiders just rummage over my iron constantly. I don't know why they're attracted to it. So get off my iron! This is mine! Oh, really? Guess they're not fast enough. I love watching that auto cannon. So, this is where we have a problem though. The quick drones might not last long enough to deal with the final wave. They're good, they're good enough to get you to the final wave, but at this point they might not be enough to, uh... Oh, right, I should have upgraded this. They might not be enough to, uh, keep us alive at the final wave. Uh, and that's fine. You know, it is what it is. They did their damn job and they did it beautifully. I want to find more stuff than mine. There's got to be something here. This is the edge. I think we've already mined all of this. It is a very long trip. Come here. Alright, let's go deposit this thing. Is 22 cobalt enough? I, I don't think it is enough. I, I think that when we run out of drones, because they're quick drones and not long-lasting drones, we'll probably end up dying. You might need the long-lasting drones to survive the final wave. I think the quick drones are, are more than enough to help get you to that final wave. As long as they're not fighting those dang pyramids that just soak up your shots. Nice, by the way. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get any more water. Which makes me think resource converter would have been nice. Because then you can convert the iron to water and then just manually overcharge. But I like the auto overcharge too. Also, I'm very disappointed in the tree here. I thought it would... There we go, now it's finally producing water. <laughs> it took a long time for the roots to, to hit the water. So theoretically, we could wait a few waves and get more water and then upgrade the spire a whole bunch of times. I, I don't have time for that. These flyers are killing me too because I can't shoot them out of the sky fast enough. What? I love the from the uh, the dude with the chest laser blast. It's a lot of fun. It's good to have the drones with the trees because they can uh, pick up the iron themselves. That's true, Gladair. I, I could, and I didn't think about that, but I could trim the tiles to make the roots grow in the direction I want them to grow in. 
Ah, whatever. All right, what can we what can we upgrade with 103 HP? We didn't get movement speed. Eh, who cares? All right, let's deposit this thing. Eighteen cobalt. Is that enough? Who knows? They got one of them. They didn't get that one, unfortunately. Man, the drones are just so nice at killing things. But again, this is where we're having that problem of they're running out of ammo. I don't know though, it's it's close. Nine, eight, seven cobalt, six cobalt, five cobalt, four. I think we'll be fine. I think we're gonna do it. The automatic build, it worked. <laughs> Hell yeah. Give me that time lapse. I want to see if we missed anything. I, th I think I think we got everything. I think we got every ounce of resources from this map. Everything. Let's see if there was anything left. Anything at all. Okay, there was two, really? I am surprised that the scanner didn't find these, but I guess the scanner doesn't find loose resources. It only finds resource chunks, like mined, mineable resources. So it didn't find that, with, which would have only given us two cobalt, but still, that's pretty interesting. Um, we've done all of this. There's nothing here. And nothing here. It was, it's all otherwise mined out except for one spot of two cobalt that we missed. <laughs> nice. All right. Detailed statistics. Monsters killed 883. 722 of those were among us. Um, damage received 10,000. I can't scroll this. Most of it from the laser beam guy at the end, I think. Second most, as expected, dive bomber. It's just, it's really hard to hit him fast enough when he's dive bombing you. Certain enemies did like nothing, like this guy, he did 80 damage to us. If he was spawning during the waves, uh, our drones can shoot down his projectiles. So he's gonna be low. Damage dealt. Wow, I'm honestly surprised that it's almost equal between drones and autocannon. 9,000 versus 7,000, that's pretty good. All right. Could have mined the water at the tree at the end, says Block. That's a good point. I could have mined that for one more upgrade. And it would have just been speed on the stun laser or something, who cares? I guess it could have been a faster rate of fire on the spire tower, I suppose. But hey, mission accomplished, auto cannon and stun laser. I'm very surprised that both of these work because you can only take one normally, but I guess we can force the game to give us both. Makes me wonder what would happen if there was an option for a third gadget. Could you take three things under your base? Like, could you take Drillbert, Blast Mining, and Condenser, or Condenser, Resource Converter, and Blast Miners. 
could you take three things for your basement? I don't know, probably not. But I'm glad that at least you can take both of these gadgets here. I would love it if you could take them both during a mission, too. But, regardless, Defective Weapon. I really like Defective Weapon as a challenge. And it, it's interesting because theoretically... Theoretically, you don't even have to use your weapon? Like, you could just do a run with the drone yard and the auto cannon, and then... Oh no, you don't have a stun laser, but you you could probably just do a normal run without even having to go back to your, your base. It's interesting that that's even a, a possible, like, build that you could run. But, uh... I guess there's a reason why there are automatic things that you can you can upgrade. Auto cannon, stun laser, spire tower, and there's got to be another one, right? Maybe not. How come we don't have the option here for the hammer? I've definitely won with the hammer before. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Did I just? Not see it? Hold on. Stun laser? Wait, now now it's not letting me select auto cannon. <laughs> auto cannon? I can't select the stun laser. Dude, I don't I don't think we were supposed to have them both. <laughs> Did the game get an update while I was playing it or something? Hold on. Spire, Suit Blaster. That's it, right? How did... <laughs> None? How did I... Yeah, how did I select them both in the first place? Well, I don't know, but I guess... I would take Spire instead of the Stun Laser in that case. Um, <laughs> what a gamer. It's interesting. There must... I must have just somehow managed to bug it out in such a way that I was able to select them both, like... I have no idea. Because by selecting one of them, I also can't take the hammer. So the hammer, the stun laser, and the autocannon are all mutually exclusive upgrades on this challenge. Uh, you know what it must have been? It must have been, like, changing the game modes or something, and it pre-filled in one of them while I had the other one selected. So I probably had Stun Laser here, and then it filled in the first one due to an auto-selection that happened when I changed the, the game mode or the assignment. I have no idea, but I can't do it now. I can't take them both. <laughs> I don't think I can also... Yeah, I can't take the Buzzsaw either. Well, that's interesting. Um... So, if it, you know, are, are you having a hard time on the Dome Keeper Defective Weapon Challenge? Just glitch the game out, no problem. Uh -huh. Solder J, thank you very much for the resubscription. Maybe some Nova Drift later. I did hear that Nova Drift, Nova Drift finally came out of Early Access. If you've never played it, you should. It's a great roguelite. Um, Hex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I had Dome Armor. So I can't even get dome armor with auto cannon. What? I think I gotta like restart the game. I think I bugged it out horribly. I can take dome armor here, but then I can't take auto cannon. <laughs> what? All right, the game's not working correctly. Uh, we'll figure it out later, I think. Because this is. It should at least allow me to take the dome armor. I don't know, that's very weird. Oh, now I can. I just, I changed domes. Hold on. Now I can take the stun laser again. Okay. Ch changing the dome fixed whatever bug was happening with the gadgets, but it still might be a bug that I can't, that I shouldn't be able to select both of these, but yeah, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I can select everything now, and I just changed my dome back and forth. So, there you go, we, we've solved the problem. Anyways, for now, for now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching.
like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support the channel at the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Domekeeper.